Good day, my pupils. Now look at this bar chart. It is a result of a survey of a class in year 12 from a British high school about what gadgets it say own. Your first task is to make up the sentences using the phrases above as in this example. What about you? What gadgets have you got? How often do you use them? It will be your second task to make up sentences as in this example. Now read the title and the words. What is the text about? In order to get the answer to our question, let's read the text. Square eyed teens. Are you a screenager? Are you constantly glued to the TV, texting your friends, chatting online or perhaps trying to move up another level in one of your favorite video games? Well, if you are, you are in the majority. You are another quick-thinking, multitasking teenager like millions of others who demand to be constantly in touch with their friends. Most teenagers do almost everything electronically. They watch digital TV, listen to music on a digital MP3 player and communicate electronically with friends through email, instant messaging or by mobile phone. Teenagers even do most of their reading online now. When they need help with their homework, it is often the internet that they turn to. Gadgets are in fact teenagers' primary tools of communication, information and entertainment. According to a recent survey, more than half of the teenagers prefer to spend most of their time in their bedroom because that is where their favorite gadgets are. Experts from all over the world worry that teenagers' addiction to technology is having an effect both on their health and on their behavior. In some countries, teenagers are getting help. In Britain, for example, there is a clinic that helps young people whose passion for all things electronic is having a negative effect on their lives. In China and Korea, there are even boot camps where children receive psychological help and treatment. There, young people have to do non-gadget related activities. It's probable that these types of camps will become common in other countries in the future. Learning to keep a balance between the real and the virtual world will help the square-eyed generation understand that gadgets and technology are useful and fun, but they should not let them rule their lives. And in your third task, I would like you to answer these questions. Your fourth task is to complete these sentences with the words above. And it will be your fifth task. I recommend you do a survey like the one in exercise one. That is all for today. I'm looking forward to check your home tasks. Bye.